The fan in, fan out functionality allows you to converge multiple wires or cores into a single line representing the multiple wires or cores. In this example, I'm going to run through showing how the fan in functionality works and also showing how this can be split across multiple drawings along with assigning multiple um, cable markers um, in two different styles. First of all, I'm going to select multiple bus. And we'll just draw an empty space going horizontal, but just two wires to keep it simple. And although we're going to do this on one drawing, I'm going to split it as well to show you how it can be done across multiple drawings. The fan in source and fan out destination is available on the source arrow drop down. The style of the source marker styles um, is obviously governed within the drawing properties and also within the project properties. And you can choose between solid, wire number and description with a break etc. The break's actually quite useful if you're using cable core detail. I'm going to choose style 1 and as where um, our wires are on the left and they're going to the right we're going to use the left hand marker. We can give this um, an ident so in this instance I might give it the cable number and then the, the core number. We'll come back to the description part in a second. As this is on the same page, I might as well insert a destination for every source arrow as it's simpler to insert. But you will notice that you've got a source fence insert if you've got obviously several source ends to do at the same time. I'll prompts me to use W1-2 because obviously I typed W1-1 before. And basically those two wires are actually connected up. So as an example, if I draw an AutoCAD line from there across down That's obviously just drawn on AutoCAD um, uh, layer, which will be on layer zero, but you'll notice that these are actually on the multi-wire, whereas these will be on the wires layer. So I can either use match properties or I can use the um, fan in, fan out, single line layer utility. And basically select those items. Now if I perform a cross reference you'll see that these two are linked together. If I number the wires you'll see that the wire numbers are placed on here and also placed on here. The information that you see here extra you don't have to have this turned on so you can either hide them by right clicking over the individual blocks or you can use the hide attribute window multiple and I could select those items and we could turn all of that information off if we wish to but still that's going to be connected. I'm just going to undo that. And what I'm going to now do is place some terminals on the end And we'll repeat that process on the other end, but with a different thermal strip. So at the moment this is just wires, so if I went to a report and did a from to list, You'll see wire number one 
connects from X11 to X21 and it's in wire type wires. Okay, so I mentioned there's a couple of ways of obviously splitting this across the page. So an example would be, we get rid of that, um, this would be on a different page altogether. Remember, the source, fan in source, links to the fan out, um, so the, the fan out destination. So effectively, those are the two links. But quite often, you'd want to actually display a cross-reference in between that con connection and that particular connection. Um, this can be done in a couple of ways. You could just use a, um, a standalone cross-reference, or indeed, you can actually just use a source arrow on the end. And I could say, okay, this is uh, W1. And those two are linked together. There's basically two ways of cross-referencing with cable detail as well. So if I go to cable markers, I can place a cable marker here and we can assign a multi-core cable. And you can see those two are placed down. Um, if we go back to the multi-core cables, you can add an extra marker. And we'll position that here. Like so. And then the the effectively if we wanted a cable marker on here as well we could actually do that but we'd be doing that as a single line component so that's method one method two i'll just undo Method two is um, that you place a description on these items. And if we'd have done this at the beginning, it would have automatically um, updated the description. So what I'm going to do is um, just add WH on the description there. And WH on the description here. BK on the description and BK on the description here. We want a normal cable marker. No description on the car colour. And we can add an, an additional extra marker on here. Linking those two together. So, as I said, if you'd have inserted the fan in source and fan out destination with a description in the first place, the description would have been copied across to the destination automatically. Um, so, as you can see, we've put a cable detail. We've only put the cable marker there, but because we've put a core description in the fan in source, and obviously that means in the fan out destination, when we come around to doing a report, the core detail is shown within the report. Mm -hmm.